Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past and more. I got this on various Telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this, but that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite have a the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel. The link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Traces of Past Civilizations 20,000-year-old transformer discovered in Kosovo Photographer and researcher, Izimitz Miley, found a mysterious artifact in the mountains in Kosovo. The found object is a stone of unusual shape with an electromagnetic coil built in. Mainstream studies have shown that the artifact is at least 20,000 years old. The analysis of the stone has caused bewilderment because its data does not fit into the official history of human civilization. The artifact resembles an ancient transformer. The copper coil is not simply inserted into the cutout hole, but is one with the stone. This suggests that the stone was melted down and then given the desired shape. The object has not only a coil with wires, but also an insulator and four symmetrical holes for the wires. The Jewish scholar, Joseph ben Joshua ben Mer HaKohen, wrote of the American giants. The Spaniards fought with neighboring kings, drove them out, and settled there. They found great cities there, whose inhabitants were intelligent people, trained in science. They also found that the sons of Van Aka, or giants, similar in height to cedars, and they brought some of them to Spain, chained together, and the Spaniards were in their eyes like grasshoppers. Remarkably, there are sailors who have seen giants with their own eyes. There are Europeans who have seen living members of this race captured. There are sketches on maps and descriptions in travel diaries. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. And don't forget to subscribe and also click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The peasant's work is a hammer and a plow. Looking closer at the masterpieces of the art of blacksmithing, there are questions about the equipment of blacksmith shops. Badena is a type of armor, like chain mail, but consists of flat riveted rings. Each ring was fastened with a miniature rivet and contained a chaste inscription. To summarize, embossing, miniature rivets, you can't do this with a forging hammer. You need fairly strong and small tools, presses, and stamps that provide the hard but fine work. In 2019, during the restoration of an Indian temple in Sri Rangam, the bonding cement of two columns cracked. It turned out that the rotating columns were part of an ancient mechanism that opened the entrance to an underground hall, where at a depth of 36 meters was a well with water. There was a well with water at a depth of 36.5 meters. The workmen were good, they did not get into the water and called the scientists. At the bottom of the well, there were six cylinders, and the water contained molecules of heavy metals. Just a little, but radioactive. Today, scientists know 
that you can safely store radioactive waste if you fuse it with basalt. The well just happened to be made of basalt. How the Hindus could have such knowledge 8,000 years ago, which as the age of the cave experts have established, is difficult even to assume. The territory of the modern Sahara Desert was densely populated back in the 16th to 18th centuries, but hundreds of cities have almost disappeared without a trace. Let's look into it. It is interesting to overlay old maps on modern maps. The current tie of the Sahara stands in place of the town of Hoden. See the first picture on the top left. Doesn't it remind you anything? Places of other cities were taken by charred black rocks, centered new formations resembling burnt-out ruins. What were the cities destroyed with? It scorched everything within a radius of 50 to 60 square kilometers, including vegetation and wildlife, rivers and lakes. Few people think about it, but in fact, most of everything that exists at the moment appeared in just 200 years, given that the Earth is said to be billions of years old. History does not particularly explain this incredible growth of our civilization in 200 years, but such a fact is quite strange. Only in the 19th century, worldwide were built kilometers of railroads, thousands of houses, various buildings, and all this, allegedly for about 100 years. However, all this mega 19th century is almost the same buildings around the world, which seem to be just stamped and the ancient architecture and remains, incomprehensible to our most advanced civilization. Although for some reason, it is very similar in different parts of the world, on different continents. Today, there are over 5,000 known manuscripts of the New Testament, and none of them are the original author's originals. Their cop is overflowing with errors and inaccuracies that distort the meaning and prevent proper understanding. Inattention, fatigue, poor lighting, illegible handwriting, marks in the margins were taken as part of the text. Sometimes the text was read aloud and scribes wrote it down. Remember how many mistakes there were in the dictations. In 1707, a book was published by the scholar John Mill who analyzed about a hundred Greek manuscripts of the New Testament and found more than 30,000 discrepancies. That's an average of 300 per manuscript, with only important distortions and outright errors taken into account. But yes, the text of scripture has come down to us from the depths of time. The question is, how much of it is left of the original? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this. They have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end. I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.